In this lecture, we are going to go over some of the research concepts and tools for business education students. So this is not necessarily knowing how to do research. However, I'll just uh, briefly display and uh, show you some of the tools that are available through our library for you to do research. So what we're going to do is uh, some of the steps on getting started with research then how to select the resources, how to s perform those searches, and then how to evaluate those resources for your research papers. And then finally we are going to go through some of the additional tools available for you here at Cairn University. So basically a person today is faced with the barrage of information from every which direction. If we turn our cell phones on, there is all kinds of information that we receive through email, through Twitter, through Facebook, through our websites, through news and media out there. So it's information for us. It's coming in all the types of all kinds of different uh, ways. So they say that today a person is subjected to more new information in a day than a person in the Middle Ages for the entire life, for their entire lifetime in the Middle Ages. So the key here is determining what information is useful and valuable because, as they say, it's like filling a teacup with a fire hose. So if you're doing a research paper, there is so much out there and you have to just know what information is useful and what you need. So it's basically they're saying that the information is gushing toward your brain like a fire hose aimed at a teacup. And we kind of get the concept there. So what are some of the steps in research? Well, one of the ways to put it is, and this is a progressive way of looking at it, is that we need to define first what we want to find out. And then we need to locate it, then select that information, organize it, and then present it and assess it finally. And I'll get into uh, these a little bit more in a moment and we'll actually even have them in a much simpler format too. But if we think through this is that we are finding out what we need, then we are going to uh, locate it, select what we are going to use, organize what we have selected, then present it, write our paper, and then assess. Our paper is going to be assessed and we are going to assess our knowledge. What did we learn from it? Because that's the key is to gain more knowledge. Now in all this process we need to keep in mind the copyright stuff as well. We have discussed this in this class a little bit. We're going to discuss it more. Um, so uh, when you start uh, doing research, let's suppose uh, that you have to write a research paper you need to ask yourself three basic questions. And those are, how much information do you know about that particular topic already? Then what do you need? How much information do you need? And then what kind of information you're going to need? So what you know, what you need, and then what type, what kind of information. What that means is that some of the instructors in your research uh, may need journals and there is a reason why they need journals and that type of thing. So how much information do you already know? Well that depends on um, what your what the topic is. So it could be little or nothing. For example if I uh, say what is business intelligence probably you know little or nothing in that regard. If you are talking about outsourcing you probably understand the concept of outsourcing but uh, you don't know a lot of the details about it so that's so if you know little or nothing usually you'd start with an encyclopedia or a dictionary to just find out more for example what business intelligence is you'd go to an encyclopedia then if you have some familiarity with the topic then you'd use books or articles that are general in nature for example um, you have some familiarity with um, outsourcing so you'd go and look at articles newspaper articles or journals out there that have been written on the top on that specific topic and then if you know quite a bit about the topic 
then you'd go into more detailed, uh, such as reading books and uh, detailed journal articles. Uh, for example, you know about Christianity, you don't have to figure out what it is and the basic stuff about it, but if you're going to uh, discuss the uh, specific doctrine, for example, the doctrine of um, sanctification, then you want to get deeper into very detailed articles out there. So this was how much you know about uh, the topic. That's point number one. Now, the other thing is, how much information do you need? And this depends on uh, what your research paper is. It could be that you're doing a research paper, a one-page uh, summary, one-page research paper, or it could be that you're doing a Sunday school class and so on. So if it's a one-page paper versus a 10-page paper, that will differ. But then if you're doing a dis uh, dissertation for a doctorate degree, that will be a whole lot more compared to a one-page paper. And then if you're doing a Sunday school lesson, that, of course, uh, differs again. So knowing how much information you need, it's important besides how much information you know about that specific topic. And the third uh, thing is what kind of information you need. And by what we mean by that is that um, does it have to be very detailed? Does it have to be journal articles? Does it have to be uh, from books and, uh, and that type of thing? So, for example, if we need to determine how many new businesses were started in Pennsylvania in 2011, well, that's a simple query, for example, and that differs from um, were there more businesses in 2013 than in 2012? So. This is simple for the first question. It's kind of simpler than the second question here because here we have to know what happened in 2013 and then also know what happened in 2012 and then come out of the conclusion. And then, for example, the other thing here is, which is more even more complex, how has the state of Pennsylvania been affected by the downsizing in business? This is even more complex because you have to look at all the different parameters, whether there was down, downsizing and so on. So the first one, it's a simple query. We just f could find the answer very easily. Uh, the second one, it's a little bit more compound and it requires more evaluation. And the third one, it's a complex uh, inquiry. So, uh, so far, we need to keep in mind three things. How much do you actually know about it? How much you need? and what type of information you need. Three questions.